Natalia. Welcome to Bring Us In Preparation. So I haven't seen you for about three years. We met at a, a midwifery uh, talk that I did. And um, you said something very interesting to me the other night when I met you again. Um, do you want to just tell the people what you said? Well, I said to you, uh, I don't know if you remember me, but you got me pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> right, Which yeah. didn't come out quite right. <laughs> Have your husband's not listened to this. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to just explain a little? Um, well, I had been um, trying, uh, we've been trying for children for about 10 years. We'd had five cycles of IVF. And I came to see you for an unrelated thing. I came to see you as an osteopath because I'd injured my shoulder and we got talking and you said about pregnancy and preparation and preparing the soil and I thought, that sounds really interesting. Because um, the thing that always puzzled me was that, that I felt was really unfair, was that I've always been really healthy and I've always looked after myself reasonably well, I thought. and. It just seemed just unfair, <laughs> um, but I thought, well, maybe I need to approach this from a different, or a different way. And um, so I went to the talk, and it, it, it certainly highlighted for me a couple of the things that I thought mm, maybe there are some areas of my life I need to think about changing. Or, um, and I began to do a couple of the things you talked about, lots of things in terms of, I remember the, the name of the talk, which was Preparing the Soil, which was an important, an important metaphor for me. Sometimes you think, but he didn't do anything. Yeah. You know, I was with him for half an hour, but he didn't do anything, because in this life we all want quick fixes. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, I'd heard um, about Craig from, uh, from a colleague of mine, um, and actually I didn't go and see him for a year, because it all sounded a bit wacky. <laughs> um, but I eventually went to see him um, about four years ago with a bad back, and um, I went to see him and he told me it had nothing to do with my back or my muscles, it was actually my stomach. Right. And so I started to look at being healthy you know, in, a, in a much bigger scale because before I'd kind of always looked at health as being slim or fit right. as opposed to actually thinking about what's going on the inside. So um, yeah, that's where it all began really. Right. So what is pregnancy and preparation all about? Pregnancy and preparation uh, started as a sort of embryo uh, about eight years ago after a guy came to me with migraines and when I asked him how his migraines affected him, I was expecting an answer like I get pain in my head or my vision's affected and he said well yes I do shout at my wife and I get niggly with my two boys and I was like wow that's not what I was really after but um, I can see how this problem or dis-ease that you're having in your body is having quite an impact and for some reason I had this vision of these ripples coming out from this guy, mm -hmm. for example going to his wife and two boys and then what happens when she goes to work and affects the people at her work because she's in a bad mood from it etc. Okay. Well, could you just tell me about you know some of the journey that you've been on because you've had twins so this is going to be an interesting story so can you just tell me about the start of your journey when you kind of got into um, understanding what Craig's about and how that came about? I sure, realized, well, wow, this is you know quite a huge impact. And if we can swap this ripple of disease around and make it into a ripple of health, what what impact can we make on society? Um, it was really around thinking, well, am I really preparing my body as well as I can for the upcoming? And I think I was going to go through. Um, we were going through egg adoption and I was going to go through another cycle, my last go. So I thought, well, I, I need to think about preparing this world. I started to just go back into my books around physiology and how the body worked and starting to look at the emotional side, the nutritional side and the structural side of the body and how that implicates, you know, dis-ease, etc. In my effort to, to stay healthy and be, and not get fat, I was actually thinking about, you know, what was I putting into my body really, that may not have been the best. So that, I, I remember that was one of the major lifestyle things that impacted but both of us. Also Craig has other sort of strings to his bow in terms of he's an acupuncturist mm. um, and a naturopath, so he knows about nutrition. Yeah. And for me it's that holistic approach, mm. so it's not just going to be cranial osteopathy, it's not just going to be mm. dealing, you know, with the alignment of um, 
the skeleton and everything else. It's sort of there's more there's more to it. Um, that's what I find most helpful. Other things. And so it's an education process, isn't it? Yeah. And also what Craig's good at is um, supporting the mother. Right. Because babies do feed off us, um, particularly if you're breastfeeding, they're obviously feeding from you, but also emotionally and mm. um, so that's how I kind of carried on with Craig is that he did a lot of stuff with my eldest son initially. Mm. But you know, over the years I started meeting some really great people. You know, there's Janie Holiday from Fit for a Princess, mm. Patrick Hauser from Fathers to Be, his partner Binny Danst who's um, got ecstatic birth. One of my inspirations is actually um, Christine Grabowska. She's a um, midwife and she teaches at Thames Valley University. And I can honestly say I've never met a midwife that's got more information. She's just phenomenal. Um, Mariana Vanska, an antenatal teacher who's so passionate about what she does with these people. And these people are, are out there making a real difference to the world. And what I wanted to do was just bring them all together and start to create some value for these people, these mums and dads to be, is because I realise it's not just about the mum, and we tend to focus a lot on the mum. What about the dads? You know, the stuff Patrick House is doing with dads, just absolutely phenomenal. So what if I could be the enzyme, if you like, or, you know, start to get these people together and bring all the resources in some sort of form? I'm doing something with somebody from UNICEF, a woman called Anne Strong, and we're doing breastfeeding, it's not rocket science. And we're trying to just bring it back to what life's about because pregnancy is something we've been doing for many, many years. It's not a new science. And we try to make everything fancy every year. You know, technology goes on and so we have to keep up with technology. But actually, being a human is a very simple principle-based phenomenon. And if we can get back to helping people understand their body a little okay. better. So what are, the, what are the, some of the biggest things you could take away and recommend for other people that are in a situation that are just about to have a baby and um, you know, they may be very fearful at this moment? Um, well for me it's having support, um, whether it's your partner or I've got an old sister who I spoke to a lot. Um, right, and I started to inquire into what it would take with my people to actually create a ripple of health instead of having this ripple of disease. Because I thought at first, as a practitioner, I was just dealing <coughs> excuse me, with this person on the couch. And then I realized there was a far bigger social implication here.